Uh, so we asked you to get in touch with us some messages of appreciation. Um, yeah, we've had lots, haven't we? Um, can I just quickly do mine, first of all? Uh, There's yes, a reason why. Sorry. <clears throat> it's not about you for a moment, it's about her. Let's all remember that. Back to you. I was going to make it about someone else. <laughs> no, go. Uh, Mick, my milkman, who has just been amazing. He's absolutely just kept me going because you leave little notes saying, do you need anything extra other than the milk? You know, like, <laughs> sort of... No, I don't! <laughs> 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 I mean, like bread, oh, yeah. butter, yeah. or orange juice. Yeah. And he also yeah. supplies. Yeah. The extra. Uh, he needs a little smiley face. <laughs> I bet he does. <laughs> <laughs> and you still answer at the door in your dressing gown and those fluffy slippers. And a shower cap. <laughs> oh, oh, Mick. I tell you what, Mick, you're, thank you. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> Should we move on to other people's messages? I've got um, myself in trouble. Believable. Even I didn't Mick. see that one I coming. I do think the milk, I, that, we've got a brilliant milkman. It's like having the fourth emergency service, isn't it? Well, it's when just... You when, open the fridge, yeah. there's yep. no milk, and then you remember and you go outside by the front door. It's just in my head, I think, whatever's, however long night I've had, whatever's gone on, I'll be able to have a cup Mick of tea. Mick will sort you out. Mick will sort you out. Tim Dean. <laughs> Tim Dean says he wants to say, uh, wonderful postman Tim. Postman there again. Lots Fantastic. of people saying postman, yeah. Uh, gone out of his way to bring cheer to everybody in the street. Helpful and plenty of laughter and banter. Then I, then, uh, then I say, then all other delivery guys. Well, it's that little bit extra. Yeah, right? Carol's saying here, our postman who always asks how we are, stops for a little chat. He's so lovely, makes my day. Karen, uh, Charon says, on uh, Twitter. Matthew, our post... Or maybe, maybe is... Sharon. It could be Sharon. Mm -hmm. um, uh, our posting is short, a so cheery smile and a great chat. He's a lovely young lad as well. Lots of postmen getting their shouts out today. Yeah, Sarah Barry says, I want to thank my son and hubby, but would like a mention to rubbish collectors as they come once a week and always give my son, who has autism, a huge grin, a wave and a mm -hmm. thumbs up, and it's the highlight of his week. They go out of their way. It, it's those things that maybe seem little that are massive huge when gesture. we're in the situation yeah. we're in. Sue Ellen Lamb, head, school, head of a school at Race Lees Junior, Bedworth says the support and welcome we get from parents and children at the school is truly wonderful during such a difficult time our community has pulled together and given the boost us teachers need to thank you from the bottom of her heart and David Wall wanted to give a shout out to his granddaughter he says uh, uh, my granddaughter has had seven brain oh, surgeries since thing. July last year wow and yesterday she had her final surgery for a number of years and the whole family is overjoyed. Well, she sounds like an absolute hero. She so, really yeah. does. Richard, Fantastic. who have you got that you would like to share some love for? It would have to be my butcher because he goes that extra length as well. <laughs> um, he's, uh, he's knocking me up a beef wellington. Morning, <laughs> Phil. I did one of James <laughs> Elliott in Islington. He's knocking me up a beef wellington uh, for Sunday. And I organised this about two weeks ago. First clue you're in lockdown is when you start organising Valentine's Day, a fortnight ahead of schedule. And I thought, well, I'm not going to make the beef wellington from scratch because that would be like cutting your hair for the first time on your wedding day. Um, <laughs> so, Phil, thank you very much indeed. And all the team, actually, to be honest, all the gang in our local stores on the high street as well who've, who've kept open um, and serving the community, they've been brilliant. I don't know what I'd be without them. It's and majestic, of course. It? <laughs> yeah, and majestic, yeah. particularly. Uh, what yeah. about you, Alex? Uh, I have to say, my mum actually, um, she's been shielding all the way through the pandemic. Uh, and she's had operations postponed. She's been in a lot of pain, but she's so resilient and she's so positive. It actually lifts me as well. So she's an inspiration. So, yeah, shout out to my mum and also all the shielders as well who've had it really difficult over the really, last Really, really difficult. Well, yeah. Ben, have you got anyone? Um, I think, well, to, to, I think the credit in our, with us lot has to go to the boys, to Sam and Jack. I just Aww. think they've been extraordinary. I think that, but, and um, uh, undoubtedly there'll be, there'll be people at home and they've got kids that are having to homeschool. And the resilience that they've both shown, Sam's doing his GCSEs, was supposed to be doing his GCSEs oh. this, this year. Uh, Jack has sort of adapted brilliantly. I, I just, I'm so, I've got so much admiration for how they've gone about it. Mm. They've kept their spirits up. They've, they've got on brilliantly. We've had a really good laugh. Sam's really embraced his own sort of health and fitness as well, which, Has as he? you can imagine, for me, is something you I'm very proud that. of. Yeah. You know, he's taken himself off. He ran 150 kilometres in January. 